So you're thinking about getting into real estate, congratulations. But you might have a full-time job or a part-time job, and you're just not sure if you should give those up and jump feet first into the world of real estate. I get that question asked to me all the time, so stay with me. You might be surprised what I tell you right after this. Hi guys, this is Adam Ashba, president of Ashmont Realty and instructor at Hondros College. So last night, I got this question asked quite a bit. I was at a Hondros College career event in which there's new agents that are just starting to take the real estate classes, and they're a little concerned about commission-only type jobs. A lot of them have never been in that situation before, and if they should quit the current full-time or part-time job. Many, many brokers are going to tell you that they need you in their office full-time, and honestly, that is not needed. It's just not. The only reason why they want you in those offices is because they spend a lot of money every month on the rents, so they want you to get some sort of use out of it. Well, first and foremost, your potential clients aren't at the office, okay? You can accept, uh, get a hold of your clients anywhere uh, with the advent of a smartphone, okay? So I don't want agents quitting their full-time or part-time job to do this. According to the National Association of Realtors, almost 85% of every person who gets into real estate quit in their first year. That is absolutely ridiculous. And as an instructor at the real estate college, I would ask those agents, why is that? Why are they quitting? And one of the biggest reasons was finances. They unfortunately might not have a significant other. And even if they do, it takes a long time to get built up in this industry. A lot of brokers will overpromise and underdeliver. They'll tell you that you're going to make a certain amount of money. I've seen brokerages that talk about I mean, even if you Google it on google.com, that an average realtor makes around 70 some thousand dollars a year. That is not true. I, I, I'm sorry, there are some that make a lot more than that. And believe me, there's some that make a lot, lot less, even if they've been in the market for a couple of years. So ease into it. And that's one thing when we started Ashmont Realty, we understood that 70% of all agents in our market are part-time agents. You can do this. You need to get with a brokerage that will cater around your schedule. You don't have to go in the office to be successful. You can do online training. You can do virtual training. Uh, but most importantly, you do need to have a mentor that's with you and you can ha have access to them seven days a week. So this realtor's tip is don't quit your full-time or part-time job. Don't do it. When I first got started in real estate for the first year, I worked a night job as an auditor for a hotel chain. I did it to keep the money consistent so I can continue in this business. This is a marathon, guys. It's not a sprint. You're not going to get rich your first year. And any broker that tells you that is being dishonest. And that is what's caused such a huge turnover in our industry. So this is Adam Ashba, president of Ashmont Realty and instructor at Hondros College of Real Estate. If you have any questions about getting into real estate, reach out to me. I can tell you how to get signed up at Hondros College, and I might even teach you. So have a great afternoon, everybody, and we'll see you on next Realtors Tip.